I did it! I did the jailbreak on my Kindle. But why did I do the jailbreak on my Kindle? Was it worth it? And should you do the same? And of course, the question on everyone's minds, why do I look like the bad guy from the Bollywood movie, Lagan? Who beat us in this game? And I'll cancel your text. Or a uh, nervous breakdown barista. Blue Oyster Club bouncer. Write yours in the comments below. Meantime, I'll try and answer at least two of those questions in this video. And the third one, you could probably work out yourself. Ooh, intrigue from the... 1970s adult movie star. So recently I watched this super detailed, really interesting video by tech YouTuber Damn It Jeff about jailbreaking your Kindle, as did quite a lot of other people. Fair play, Jeffrey! And since I'm a borderline ADD curious little nerd, I decided to drop everything more important I was doing and jailbroke my Kindle following his lead. Jailbroke? Jailbreaked? Jailbreak? Quick sidebar if you don't know what jailbreaking is, it's basically unlocking the device at the root level to allow you full access to the hardware and capabilities it has, some of which the manufacturer may have deliberately limited. It's like taking the stabilizers off your bike, or, or, or taking the, the limiter off your golf cart, or the blinkers off your horse so it can do anything it wants and go anywhere it once. I don't know who that analogy is for. Does it even work? Now, Jeff looks like the kind of guy who knows his way around a terminal window or a CLI interface. Does I stand for interface? Whereas I am more of a casual techie who looks like one of those kids' toys where you move iron filings around a man's face with a magnet. But I followed the pretty good documentation step-by-step -step process and it worked exactly as we'd hoped. But outside of a nerdy curiosity and a small sense of achievement, I found myself immediately thinking, was it worth doing? So, let's find out. I think essentially it's going to come down to your use case. Uh, is it um, 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 reading books? Yes, but I'm a pretty light, casual Kindle user. I bought this guy about four years ago from my favourite second-hand electronics store, CEX, for about 40 euro, I think, and it's the Kindle Paperwhite 6th edition. Now, I don't really use the Amazon ebook store that much. I've only bought a few things from there over the years. What with my DVDs all having gone to the charity shop and my CDs being in those sad plastic wallets in a storage unit somewhere. Books are the only physical media I have left, so I still like to buy the original copies, physical pages. Why is he smelling a book? He's a weird man. But if I'm traveling and I'm only taking a small bag, you know, this is not as ideal as this, obviously. So what I'll do is find the ebook version of this online somewhere. If you search, I'm sure you can find an archive. And then using the library software Calibre, or as Dammit Jeff calls it, Calibre. Using Calibre, you're gonna love this. My whole world's turned upside down. Which is the right way to pronounce it? Calibre or Calibre? Please tell me in the comments below. Anyway, I'll use that excellent library software to convert and squirt the book down a wire into my Kindle, and then I can read it just like it's come from the Amazon store. Legally, probably a gray area. But ethically, I feel like I'm in a decent place. I've bought the book, I'm paying the author, I'm just finding a more convenient way to take it around with me sometimes. Speaking of the big A, the um, Amazon, they make Kindles. One of the main, if not the main, overarching reason you might want to jailbreak your Kindle is to remove yourself from the Amazon ecosystem and all the control freakery that entails. Since they basically control the software on the device, they can change it at a whim with a simple over-the-air firmware update. They could change how your Kindle works, remove your favorite feature, or as they did recently, remove your ability to download the books you've paid for as a PDF backup to your laptop. Not cool, Jeffrey Bezos. Also, in the unlikely but not impossible event that for some reason your Amazon account gets banned or suspended, suddenly you lose access to all the books you've paid real earth money for. Now, with the way I use my Kindle, it lives 99% of the time on airplane mode. I love it. The battery lasts forever. But if one day I connect to the wireless and Amazon decides to push a firmware update that changes the software and it means that you can no longer put your own books through a wire onto the Kindle, 
Then we got beef, Jabo. Now I own an Amazon Fire Stick and I've seen this happen whereby with each firmware update, they slowly erode how much you can tinker or change the settings. I'm not even doing anything nefarious. It's like quality of life things that make the device run better or in some instances, just how it's supposed to. And with a flick of a switch, Amazon's like, no, sir. On some level, jailbreaking is taking the power back from the billionaires. Just a little bit. Hey, anything we can do to stop Katy Perry going back to space, am I right? So if you do decide to jailbreak, you're not deleting all of the Amazon software and books. It just kind of exists on top of that. It's like, if this is the Fire Stick menu, this is the Netflix app. That's the jailbreak. So let's have a little look at what we can do. Now, the main reason to jailbreak this fool is an app called Co-Reader, which is essentially a super customizable ebook reader that natively supports EPUBs and PDFs and you name it, it reads it. It's like the VLC of ebook readers. And it comes with a whole host of tweaks and twiddles and customizations that, depending on how you use your ebook reader, could be an absolute game changer. So now I don't have to use Calibre to convert and squirt the books into my ebook reader. I can just plug this into my laptop and drag and drop the books on and they'll just appear in CoReader like it's an external drive, which is actually how you navigate CoReader. It's basically like a file system. But wires are for the birds. Ugh, what is this, 2017? More like, more like 1917, am I right guys? No, there's no one else here. But there's a very cool feature in CoReader where you go boop and connect it to Calibre on your laptop and then you can wirelessly transfer the books with a click of the mouse. Love that. I'm not gonna go into super detail on this video. You can find that elsewhere. In fact, you should look up a lovely Swedish man called Stefan Svartling, who has a whole host of no frills, super detailed videos from a myriad of camera angles, which explain how to do all this techie stuff. I used it to learn it and they're very useful indeed. Thanks, Stefan. Uh, how do you say thanks in Swedish? Uh, uh, talk. Talk. Is that it? Or am I saying a swear word? Duck, Stefan. <laughs> Imagine I'm just saying fuck. Now, if you're one of those people who changes the font on your phone to Comic Sans, whoo boy, you are gonna have a field day making all your favorite books look absolutely disgusting with CoReader. You can even upload your own fonts. You can change the layout, the margins. You can even make it so you can read horizontally, which I think you can do on newer Kindles, but certainly not on this one. You can tweak everything. There's like nerdy stats for how many minutes you've read of each book on each day. There's so much stuff you can tinker with and you can set shortcuts, hot corners, so that if you tap in each corner, it does a different thing. I've made it so that this corner of mine turns on the light. I mean, that's the sort of thing that really sells me. Look at that. Yeah. I'm so easily pleased. <laughs> Another thing I really like is you could change the wallpaper screensaver thing. Now, I don't think I could do this, but again, maybe some of the newer Kindles do, where you put it down and then it goes to the cover of the book you're reading. You know how sometimes you'll be on public transport or in a cafe and you'll see what someone's reading? It's a great chance to strike up a conversation or, you know, the, the original meat cute. <sighs> Well, not always. Now this one takes it to the next level because you can actually upload your own wallpapers and screensavers and you can do this very cool thing or if you save it in the right size with the right settings as a PNG file, you can make it so the screensaver only takes up a little part of the screen and then you can see the text you're reading underneath it. Oh, so fun. I spent way too much time mucking about with this. There's me! <laughs> yeah. What a prick. Now, if you're a real book fiend, a, a bookaholic, a book my show, what? Looks like we got ourselves a reader. You can organize all your books in collections and get like really deep in that organization stuff. I don't really know how, but I'm pretty sure there'll be a guide somewhere else on the internet. TBH, you're talking to the wrong person. My real life books are organized by color. You're welcome. It's too hot to be in bed in the day in my clothes. Whoa. Well, I think I'm kind of convinced, to be honest. I like all the little tweaks and bells and whistles. I love the wireless transfer, the 
toggling of the backlight. I even like my stupid little wallpaper. I won't put the link below. And if I ever don't want to use it or I'm nervous about something, I know that the Amazon software is still underneath. So I can just close this and go back to reading how I used to before. Of course, it does bear saying that this will invalidate your warranty. And if you're very, very unlucky, you could break your device. But I'd say the chances are pretty slim. I guess the main macro reason for jailbreaking is about ownership so that the books you pay for are yours to keep, download and do with what you see fit. And ultimately, Jeff Benzedrine does seem like a bit of a nozzle, doesn't he? So if anything I've mentioned floats your boat, I reckon it's got to be worth a punt, hasn't it? Apart from the screensaver. I mean, you can make your own. It was so fun. Uh, if you're more of a casual user or you use Kindle Unlimited or you're just not that bothered about archiving copies of ebooks that are freely available on the internet and you've already read, then maybe it's not for you. But even if you're just a little curious tech nerd like me, you'll probably get a kick out of it. If you've enjoyed this little slice of tech nerdery, then twonk the like button and maybe give us a subscribe. You might also like this slightly nerdy video where I turn a cheap Android handset into a handheld retro gaming powerhouse. There's a lot of fun. In the meantime, be nice to each other and I'll see you in the next one where we'll find out if I finally get accepted into the biker gang. Or uh, if I book the lead role in the stage adaptation of My Name is Earl. Write yours below. We have fun, don't we? Do we?